Well, this video, uh, I am going to dedicate I'm not sure exactly where I would position myself as to I'm going to dedicate one to a hog as to where with the help of God and God help me uh, I will have delivered a novel mess of police investigators novel mess of police as well as the two individuals that you see right here This one here, his name is Emilan Kuchon. And his apprentice, Borat Pahar. Because of extreme fascism, because of extreme hatred, even Nazism involved in through the human experimentations and Slovenian nation alone against me, native of Slovenia, a Slovene, a native Slovene. Um, this individual that you see here was a Slovenian president since not too long ago. And this man was the first Slovenian president who already was in the hug, uh, participated to the war tribunal, to the war for the criminals, for the war criminals tribunal in Hague, uh, and have missed a meeting with the hog prosecutor concerning his own incarceration for the war crimes pertaining to ex-Yugoslavia just for inches. Uh, well, I am determined to bring these two people back to Hague due to war crimes the two committed uh, against me personally, if not against anybody else. and for which Slovenian nation believed uh, will pull behind absolutely everybody, including minorities in Slovenia, uh, such as Hungarian and Italian minorities, which are the only two minorities recognized in Slovenia as minorities. The two only have the minority status. Um, if I zoom myself out like this, and uh, you get to see a map here uh, of Slovenia, you can see that on the south of Slovenia, there is Croatia, on the east there is a Hungary, on the north there is Austria, uh, therefore a quite German population, German language, and uh, on the west we have Italy, yeah, so Hungary on the east, Italy on the west, uh, Austria on the north, Croatia on the south. That is a little tiny Slovenia here. Um, this uh, video should have been already online. Uh, I promise you, it does not have to do anything with Milan Kuchan, which started to complain simultaneously to what I'm about to talk to you about, about the Italians. Uh, he started to call on uh, Slovenes uh, to raise themselves up and condemn uh, Italian fascism uh, for the crimes which they committed uh, in the past. Uh, he is blaming Italy for the fascism in the past, uh, but what is very interesting 
really, really interesting uh, to note uh, about Milan Kuchan is uh, the timing when he pulled his trick. Uh, today is September the 19th of 2023, and this video is about the, the torture which took place in most Slovenian western part along the Adriatic coast, and right next to the Porto Roche, and that you see right there, is a city known as Lucia. Yes. Um, beginning the year 1997, maybe even 1996, a little earlier I stated 1998. I was wrong. Slovenian police, and Novo Mesto police, would transfer me with a car. They would drive me from the city of the Novo Mesto. It's basically, I immigrated to the United States in January of 1995, and I never returned to Slovenia for another 11 and a half years. Anywhere in Europe have I ever stepped on the floor within this 11 and a half years. They would take me from the Novo Mesto, to Lucia, 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 on exactly what you see here. Uh, <clears throat> inside of the bus is where the news reads here. This was released on September the uh, 16th of 2023. There was a 12-year-old uh, mentally disabled child uh, that was left alone on the bus, locked there uh, for six hours. Uh, and uh, within six hours, locked inside in this heat, mentally disabled had to suffer, obviously, more mental problems and that kind of stuff. What is interesting to note, however, is that the news that you read about, that you see right there, was pulled simultaneously with what I posted on my news site. Hungarian and Italian minorities in Slovenia, however, did not participate in torture despite heavy Borut Pahor and Milan Kuchan interventions. I'm going to stop a little bit and I'm going to leave you to eat this text. Take this to yourself. Hungarian and Italian minorities in Slovenia, right? I'm sure you understand that. That's why I went for the beginning. I demonstrated you the map. Slovenian minority is in... Uh, Italy, in Austria, in Hungary, in Croatia. However, in Slovenia, there are only two minorities that are recognized. That is Italian and Hungarian, despite Slovenia being part of Austria for over like thousand years in the past. Those are facts. We don't have any kind of German minority, anything like this. And in the video that you see below, where I talk about the local Roma family involvement, which Slovenian police involved the local Roma family in this case, I also mentioned that I will campaign for other minorities to be also recognized in Slovenia as minorities, so that well, I am Slovenian native, and so if you have such issue happening in Slovenia, uh, such a hatred, such a level of hatred, uh, which is really 
rather it's it's rather bizarre but the bizarre things can get really 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 out of hand i'm sure you understand you know uh i'm going to give you an example my father how i see slovenia is my father was he never had any muscles really he never was a muscle man or anything like he always have a long pants and he was hiding uh, his fat uh and stuff like this with long pants uh, with shirts uh and then he had really a personality that was like how can i say that was um awkward you know um he felt intimidated he did not feel comfortable around the people that were uh, sporty that were uh, in a good shape physically that were uh, you know he, he did not approve basically he had a, this kind of discomfort um intimidation maybe i don't know uh he did not like to go on the beach he didn't like to go uh, he just uh, you know have hidden his shame his disgrace basically behind the long pants uh, you know and those kind of issues and also temperament and so on so that he would not be seen questioned and, you know <laughs> pretty much i think that is the problem of slovenia i think that slovenia stinks as anything in this world can stink uh because of what slovenia got involved in at my age six months and those one another than human experimentations injections uh, play with the growth human development hormones butcheries real human butcheries uh, that stank entirely the picture about something uh, which Slovenes love to brag about love to brag about for instance, this man here is sick to brag about Nazi Germany, fascist Italy, uh, fascism, Nazism, fascism, Nazism. It's like dog, you would tie on the leash and it would be row, 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 row. Uh, but for all the wrong reasons not because he would like my both sides of my family participate in national resistance program during the world war ii but basically to hide his criminal character through which unfortunately he managed to drag entire slovenian nation uh along or with him if you like the individual is disturbed with italian past and that's a proof exactly on a day when i mention on my video that i will campaign since only the two minorities are recognized in slovenia it's Hungarian and Italian minorities, also for other minorities, such as this Roma, Serbian even minority, which really contributed nothing than disaster to Slovenia, whichever way you look. Slovenia lost a good portion of the land on the south to Serbia, Zumberak, and also what used to be ethnic Slovenia during austro-hungarian empire during austria slovenia also had uh, trieste gorica and so on uh, but it's something that joseph stalin josip bros tito traded uh, after slovenians liberated the two uh, upon the world war ii they traded this with other territories eastern european territories so are more important to them yes 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 um also next to croatian minority there was individual Jandrokovic that came to slovenia 
to campaign for his Croatian minority, uh, I've decided I will campaign also for what nobody wants to recognize in Slovenia and what I was picked on despite my having absolutely nothing to do with it. And in some way, I even deliberately adapted to make them more. Well, yeah, you can make them crazier, definitely. My eyes are brown, my hair is brown. I am more of a dark person than a light-skinned person, really. German minority in Slovenia. Can you imagine this? And I say, can you imagine this? Because it's unheard of that you would be part of some country for a thousand years, that you would have 50% of the population with the German names, but no German minority in the country. That, can you possibly imagine that a fascism unheard of in the history of the humankind when you would go and you would murder what you claim are your own natives because of light skin, because of light hair features. It's what Milan Kuchan initiated in Slovenia through me, using me as a prime example of and Nazism, yes, we go back to Slovenian national disgrace, which started with human experimentations at age six months, rather than issue apology, accept responsibility for the acts of genocide, they continued and they wanted to produce a Nazi and twist the story around so that somebody from other side of the Europe, Russia, could even assault other countries in area with excuse on like war on a Nazism. And it did happen. It happens even in Dagestan and in Chechnya, people were guilty of the Nazism. Lately, they were guilty in Ukraine. Therefore, rather than to accept responsibility for own atrocity, you would turn to the past, basically hide your reality, a reality about extreme hatred, fascism, talking here about the Slovenian fascism, or maybe Grand Slavic fascism, to wash your hands from human experimentations and to get people on whom you have practiced very much illegal criminal stuff killed basically labeling them as mentally ill, throw them behind doors of the psychiatric hospital, list them as good as dead. Start the war in another country. Complain about during this war about something that took place 80 years ago. And maybe even the best about Milan Kuchan, in my case, pertaining to my case, is the torture that you have implemented on the person. What I mentioned earlier on this video, beginning in 1996, it was the Slovenian police who drove me to the most east western part of Slovenia, to the Lucia, next to the copper, Porto Roche right along Italian coast for a torture to excuse <clears throat> the crime, even pointing 
at the Italy about its past, like Milan Kutan did. He just did this stuff. Like I said, he did this three days ago in September 2023. So you're going to say to me that Milan Kutan doesn't read my news author, that he does not watch the movies that I produce? He does. Because it's about him now. No one more than about Milan Kuchin, no one more than about Bolt Pahor and other members of this Forum 21 that hunted me since my birth. This basically is how everything commands. I posted this, what you see right there, on September the 14th, 2023. It was the next day already on September the 15th of 2023, which I rather find it funny here, because this news was published on September the 16th of 2023, when I visited my father at the Home for Elderly People, and it's exactly this news that Slovenian media played news related to this issue here i immediately realized written right here hungarian and italian minorities in slovenia however did not participate in torture despite heavy campaign interventions rather of milan kuchan and board power the two wanted everybody in slovenia to hate me absolutely hungarians declined to have anything to do with the torture until like maybe 2017, 2000, 2000, maybe even 2015. That was maybe something, if it was even questionable how much that stuff was Hungarian, that they came to conclusion that I am not going to make it or something like this, so that it doesn't matter, whatever it is. They never would come close to the torture. They never participated in the torture. It is questionable who these Hungarian people were uh, in respect to Hungarian minority in Slovenia. As to Italian minority in Slovenia, I know 100%, I know 100% that Italian minority in Slovenia, because they told me they had verbal confrontations with Slovenian side in respect to torture in Slovenia, which was desperately trying to get them on board to get me tortured in Slovenia. Slovenian nation feared the most that would stay alone in this madness without support from abroad, from the outside. And the nightmare came through through Italian minority in Slovenia, which declined to get involved in a torture. They told them basically, fuck off, we will not do this. And they told me, whoever as an Italian minority is doing a torture to you, we made an agreement, there will be no torture, but whoever is doing under Italian name, a torture against you in Slovenia is not part of Italian minority. And these people, if involved, are instead the people who, due to quite a large number of Italian minority in Slovenia, um, not only Italian minority fulfilled the needs to register as a minority in Slovenia, uh, but Slovenian side uh, fictitiously registered Slovenian people. They had Slovenian people register themselves uh, as an Italian minority, so not only they could espionage within this minority about what goes on and what went on, uh, but really to 
in my case, little to misrepresent Italian minority against me in Slovenia. Now, there was certain people they have used. Now, just the way that you see how this stuff was done, that will blow your mind out. That uh, claimed were part of Italian minority. However, they were condemned by Italian minority in Slovenia by the boss of Italian minority, I remember representative of Italian minority, these people were condemned. And Italian minority distanced itself from having anything want to do with torturing me in Slovenia. Very important to stress. Uh, and when I see this news here about this disabled girl, now this is what's gonna be mind blowing stuff that goes to September the 16th, and this one here that goes back, uh, they published one also on September the 16th, that's a coach on having problem with Italian fascism and so on. Uh, Milan coach on calling, um, basically this part of the region of Slovenia, uh, with the, the one you see right on the left side, uh, on how one uh, pertains to Slovenia and so on, uh, <laughs> while demonstrating the map of Austro-Hungarian map and so on, uh, Treaty of Rapallo, uh, Italization of ethnic Slovenes and so on. Um, I find it bizarre, truly bizarre, that once I would publish the news like you have seen here, that all of a sudden you would have Milan Kuchan uh, bitching about issues with which Milan Kuchan uh, at all the costs want to uh, portray to himself to uh, uh, Slovenia, to Slovenes, as uh, maybe even uh, United Nations or whomever uh, is a legitimate option uh, you know, basically hiding behind something that took place, uh, I don't know, 100 years ago, I don't know how long ago, uh, when in fact this man is being accused of the worst kind of crimes humanity knows for, uh, including uh, the human butcheries, not only experimentation, the human injections that started at my age six months are one thing, but what Milan Kuchan practiced with a daughter of Vladimir Putin, Maria, in Moscow, in that private clinic over there, when they, when she was injecting me, uh, Sergei Lavrov, uh, past uh, physicians in Moscow, uh, Sergei Lavrov enforced. Uh, Sergei Lavrov, uh, Sergei Shoigu enforced practicing on me the stuff that uh, uh, Russian physicians alone were afraid to do. Uh, but this is this is this is fucking incredible. I don't think you get more fascist, yeah, because Benito Mussolini was a fascist. Adolf Hitler was a neo-Nazi. And I don't think it gets more fascist, and therefore hateful, you know, fascism, hatred, to then to do something like this to an individual who is a member of your own community uh, to wash your guilt away. And at the same time, point in something that really took place a long time ago. Uh, and uh, revive these issues so that rather than a beast, uh, since I touched the Italian minority here, uh, you would be seen like some kind of national blessing or something like this. This is fucking unbelievable. Now, the second thing, and it's why I also decided I am going to campaign for this German minority in Slovenia, are the facial features that have nothing to do with me. As I stated, I'm a rather dark nature, 
dark haired with brown eyes uh, an individual who I don't think I am a prime species of what they refer to as an Aryans. Yet, as a such, I was with both sides of my family participating as really very much in a national resistance against the fascist Italy, against the neo-Nazi Germany, that I was listed basically as 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 a I mean, as somebody who needs to be just really killed so that this man here can uh, go on with his stuff on behalf of Slovenian nation uh, in front of the international community with what really is a fascism and the Nazism because it did involve also physical prejudice, racism against me not only against me, but also evidently against other Slovenian people, this is fucking unheard of, especially when during the war which is taking place in Ukraine as to what the politic of this individual, which started in the Balkan with Slobodan Milosevic, with the psychiatrist Karadzic, uh, Radovan Karadzic, uh, brought us people to. It is unbelievable, I find this unbelievable that he went on after me uh, with idea to uh, maybe even blackmail, maybe even intimidate the Italian side as to uh, what the hell uh, don't even think about something like this in that sense. You know what I mean? Because you are this in the past and you're that in the past and so on and so forth. You have this kind of past and so on and so forth. This guy appears like he's just trying to, con he just tries to continue to enforce something that actually pertains to him more than anybody else. Him and his group of people from the Moscow, from the Belgrade, that commenced all this. When I visited my father on September, the 15, therefore, a day after I published this news here, in which I also mentioned that I will campaign for the minority status also of the Roma, of the Croats, of the whatever it is, Serbs, whatever it is. Why do I want to do this stuff? Well, the Italians made a very, very good point here because they didn't want to participate in the torture. You know what I mean? Italians said to this torture, no. So I deem that the more minorities we have in Slovenia, the safer the people in Slovenia are. It was nice to see Italian group, Italian minority saying no to Milan. Putin is demands for the torture. The more groups, the more minority groups we have in Slovenia, the safer the people we are because of the people like this, because of this, because of this evil here, because of this fascist, because of this neo-Nazi gangster here that you see. He's got blue eyes, by the way. But he's got a different blue eyes. The 12 year old girl that was locked inside of the bus in this most eastern part of Slovenia, along Italian coast, is just one of these disabled children, uh, which are attending, I understand. It appears here, Elvira. Vatovic Strunjan, a school for the special needs during, well, how, how, what's, how much is it this, when I say 96, that's uh, basically 4, 24, well, this is basically, for me, 24 years is a period, MK Ultra, during which I was brought to this very location here. You see these walls here? You see these walls here? I remember when they did all this, when they reshaped the road and so on, when they, everything they did, the construction here, the stuff they did, renovated and so on. You know, asphalt and all this stuff. I remember when I was here, 
there is a lot of construction that went on here up uphill. Uh, I did not look at the street yet. I did not profile the street yet, but they did stuff. And over the course of the years, it's exactly where the bus driver, at least minimum three times a year, on each occasion of which I would disappear for at least three days, uh, they would torture me. Uh, they would use the bus drivers, the bus drivers in 96, the Slovenian bus driver in 96. Uh, I think his name was a Satan or Lucifer, I think, that his name was. Maybe it was Satan Lucifer was his name. This is the guy that if I could kill that time, if I could get my fingers on him that time, on this guy, if I wouldn't be drugged up, I would tear him apart alive. You don't understand what I would do to this man, what kind of evil this was, what this guy was doing with me inside of the bus. The police officer who met me at Brusnitsa, the investigator who tortured inside of his house, inside of our home, inside of our residence, for no less than 25 years, was the one who brought me the first time in 1996 to exactly this location here, and they would use other disabled children with whom they would lock me inside after extensive torture would take place. Not only, uh, no, not at this bus station that you see here, but he would have another area where he would drive the bus, uh, like a rest. I remember it was like uh, asphalt that would go and then it would, the asphalt would actually stop and it would be like surrounded with a forest and it would be a sand and stuff and they would stop there and there would be a torture inside of the bus and this torture would go day after day, day after day. Uh, it would start with his children, it would involve the children, uh, it, they would use the children uh, to just just to participate, basically, just to be there, basically, just to ask stupid questions. But stupid questions and stupid stuff they did to me. When I say they did to me, you see this guy here, a police, Slovenian police, that did to me this kind of stuff. Yes. I want you to see this guy who already was in the hog. He already participated in trial in the hog. And he came inches close to being incarcerated together with Slobodan Milosevic. For war crimes against humanity on Balkans, which Serbia committed. He, they would use these children after they already deprived me of sleep for maybe one week, two weeks. And I would be like a really, really bad mental shape, beaten up, intimidated in God knows how many occasions, then they would deliver me there and they would expect from me the worst. Would you believe for the next 25 years, they would continue to bring me, to deliver me back to this location? And whenever they deemed I reached the peak, that I would already give some kind of maybe even physical uh, a resistance or something, the only thing they would do is they would park me it always ended with this, always ended with a bus parked here and me being locked inside with disabled child. They would use the children that would have also um, disfigured faces, um, children with a special needs. And uh, these children with a special needs, um, how can I say? Uh, well, what can you do to the child like this? This child, this child, basically, if under normal circumstances, I said to myself, I would help him out. Uh, but uh, the way it was in the situation uh, when I found myself on the bus with these children, with a single child at times, at times they would lock me with a single child all day long on a son in a hit. Um, what it doesn't it didn't make any sense of course to talk to the child like this I, I uh, 
and tried like this would be losing his mind because of the heat inside because of this and it went on and on and on and time after time after time uh, they repeated and time after time after time slovenian police failed slovenian police that had me hijacked uh from miami united states of america from florida to a slovenia beginning the 1996 like i stated i immigrated to the u.s in 1995 in january and never appeared anywhere on european continent until the august of 2006 for 11 and a half consecutive years never was anywhere in europe or anywhere else in the world exception visits which i paid to my ex-wife to ecuador to quito i should not be seen anywhere in the world and those are total maybe three visits to south america um this torture went on went on went on uh, police was losing its mind they were becoming completely mindless uh and uh, it, it turned into a bestiality, which, however, for which, however, what was the biggest shock to me? Uh, th this was like the, the worst thing that I that I remember took place. Uh, that really, really, really stunned me. That really, really stunned me, and I, it did convince me that these people here, in in this region here, along this Italian coast here, that these people have too much hatred inside of them. Uh, I will never, ever forget these beautiful uh, Slovenian teachers, some blondes even, that it, it really struck me, basically, the statement of these Slovenian teachers, female teachers they had, these beautiful teachers uh, that stated me, it became evident that they were just waiting for me to lose my mind in this heat in the bus with this disabled child with his children that they used uh they believed it would be like a matter of time that i would lose and attack uh and hurt the child uh that's exactly right what i stated i want you to pay attention to my statement i'm going to make in the camera there were other people who were thrown on a bus, locked inside of the bus, and according to statements which uh, teachers, Slovenian teachers made, um, they were not only the teachers from this school with the special needs. Uh, this school from the special needs did not participate, I think. I think they had another teachers. There were teachers from like a regular school that were more yes that's right that's correct not the teacher from the spe uh, from the special co uh, needs for the children with the special needs but from a normal uh, even like a high school maybe or something it is i don't know uh, that appears to me in my memory there's another school there that they use also the services and so on uh, to commute these children or is a grammar school or whatever it is these children are pretty big um anyhow that were vicious insane to the degree that the young teacher beautiful young teacher from the school from this school from strunyan i remember her that was a slender and i think even maybe a, red, a little red hair younger teacher i'm gonna say to you give you a perfect description like let's say in 2013 where they threw me inside the psychiatric hospital ljubljana polia uh, this teacher i estimate was about her age maybe 30 or less i would say yes so that would make her about 10 years older today it would probably put her in a rank of like with this university beautiful degree beautiful teacher slovenian uh, it would give her into a range of age, probably, I estimate, like 43 maximum, something like this, I estimate, yeah? It was really beautiful teacher, a beautiful girl, and uh, concerned, worried for me. But it was this other teachers, like at the Snowna Shola Durham here in Novo Mesto, that 
it, it appears that this teacher in Slovenia, teachers in Slovenia are just obsessed, uh, absorbed basically with a human violence. It appears to me that a human violence is for them a life worth to live for. Basically is what they live for. Yeah, exactly. You fucking live to torture, to watch the children beat each other, abuse each other, uh, so that you pull this stuff behind a curtain watching children, how they go and they take upon each other, which is fucking insane, man. Slovenia is fucking insane. It's a country that actually participates in United Nations in even crazier inside of the European Union as a NATO member state with a totally barbaric, uncivilized, uh, whatever you want to relate to this stuff is. This goes, I don't know. I don't know if they were doing this since the Stone Age, but this is, uh, you know, like they they, uh, uh, they have it that Z on those tanks. I think some kind of uh, education for death. I would say like some kind of education uh, for uh, basically prison and open or something like this. I I I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this is. Uh, definitely, this is not the normal stuff. Um, uh, the scores of the children in Slovenia differs only as much as violence, based on my knowledge, based on my experience, based on the degree of violence that system performed against individual child. Those that are more trusted parents with compliant children, and obviously the past doesn't mean fucking shit, because like I said, both sides of my family participated in national resistance against the Nazi Germany and Benito Mussolini's Italy. Uh, are better off than who? I don't go even in the category of non-compliant children because of what happened to me already at the age of six. So based on selection of the system selection, it's the degree of the violence you get and those that's then proportional with your school scores. Uh, the more violence you get, the lower are your school scores. Uh, I remember the best two uh, students, three students, whatever. I would do this sometimes, these best school students that were shining. That, you know, instead of maybe four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, instead of eight per year, scores I would get into Redovalnica, that's basically school index. Uh, my God, man, I had fucking 20, and it was this private index the teachers had. Uh, actually, excuse me, it was like this in the official one, but in the private one from the school the teachers had. For every quarter, it had like, for every subject, it had like four, five, even six scores with the teachers no longer knowing what the fuck to do with me. Uh, and those scores range from the best to the worst. Uh, their attempt to place me in a school with a special needs for mentally ill children uh, failed them time and again, time and again. They could not accomplish anything with their violence. But boy, uh, every here and there, 
with this violence coordinated by the teachers, Slovenian teachers, that this was known as Shola Gurm, I would go, you know, and I would just pound some best grader, you know. And he would ask me why, you know, and I was just quiet and I just boom. And then what I would do is I would go like this, you know, and I would watch his scores falling to the shit, basically. You know, everything he had was five, was like the highest grade. Five, 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 you know. And all of a sudden it was one, one, two, one. Uh, I can't take him anymore. All of a sudden, I can't, he is the one. I can't pick him anymore. The fucking guy only got beaten basically once every fucking three months or something, six months, not even three months. And he started to fail. He was just like lost. And what got him the worst was a fact that the worst guy with the worst grades only did this shit him like once like this. Basically prove him that he's no fucking good. Not only that he is not the best, but actually that he is a shit, basically, that wants to be different because of the special privileges he received within this class. You know what I mean? He couldn't fucking handle the teachers when insane, boy. They couldn't fucking handle that stuff. I was a tough cookie. They couldn't put me in this school for the children with the special needs. And they took the hit, boy. Every here and there, a very intellectual hit that was yeah, like that, you know, just saw basically on, on the right time, on the right wound, basically, that would just break the system, basically. And, you know, and the children, what other children, of course, they would realize that with not such a good grades, that this is bullshit, this whole thing. It's a fucking matrix of crap, basically, the whole thing. No, I'm not proud of this. I haven't done so that, that, that I would do something to somebody. But I, I wanted to see the teachers. I wanted to see the teachers. The teachers knew what I was up to. And they understood the message. They got the message. The worst thing that happened to me on this crazy bus here when I would be delivered upon all this shit that went on was when I heard teachers saying, and not from the school with the special needs, but probably what was a grammar school or maybe even high school or whatever that was. Because I think it was children like this, they also commuted with this bus. Was when they stated me, after like 20 years of torture, they stated me, How strange that he did not uh, hurt any child, uh, you know, with the special needs. How strange that is. You know, it wasn't only myself they tortured. They also tortured the children with the special needs. It was also the children with the special needs they tormented. And then they would lock them inside of the bus. I remember this girl, they tormented her, they harassed her, they bothered her, they tortured her, and they would lock her inside of the bus with me. But what are you going to do with this child? What are you going to do with this child? This child, if I could, you know, I, I would help one out. I would do everything possible to help one out. But what can I do? Because... What are you going to talk to the child with special needs? What are you going to tell to the child with special needs that is exhausted, that is tortured, that is locked inside of the bus with me? Uh, it was the only right thing for me to do is basically to keep silent. And every here and there, you would have this bus driver that would go inside and he would steer shit. He would do problems and stuff like this. He had to because it was the police. At first, he didn't want, he just did whatever the police said, and uh, then he was becoming more and more and more and more aggressive, you know. He would stop uh, the bus somewhere uh, away 
uh, from what you see right there, uh, like I described, it would be a road that would, it would be on the side of the road where the whole bus would go there inside of that. Uh, it was uh, asphalt and then it was a, a road, uh, non-paved road, and he would go and he would stop there and it appeared that there were like, it was sand and there were trees around completely out of the view. And he would stop the bus there, sometimes even with the children, and they would harass and torture day after day and day after day. My God, you know, fucking dead, exhausted. Uh, and then for the final day, it would be whenever before I would be returned, it would be they would park me exactly on this location that uh, you see and which Slovenian police played in my face as soon as I stated here that Hungarian on September the 14th, 2023, that Hungarian Italian minorities in Slovenia did not participate in torture. So it is very pathetic. The most disappointing part is pertains to the teachers again from this region who were so bloodthirsty, so sure, so certain, however, that they will manage to satisfy the appetites of Milan Kuchan and his apprentice, Borut Pavlo, who till lately was a president, now he's 59, on how eventually I will get into one of those crazy mentally ill scenarios and hurt a child, basically. I really, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't place, I never did place the finger on the child, but man, if I had a chance to get that bus driver or the police officer, now that would be uh, what you call treat, basically. That would be, that would be a treat, basically. That would be something. So these two guys are going to have to go to hard. This guy is going to have to go back to the hard. He will have to go back to the hog, and uh, it will have to do with issues concerning of fascism and Nazism, in which this individual managed to pull Slovenian nation. Basically, Slovenian nation followed his steps into what is really a fascism and Nazism. It does not get more hateful in this world than discriminating upon causing somebody harms, as it was done to me, somebody of the same nationality with idea to hide, to uh, omit to its national character, you know, uh, something truly, truly, truly shameful, disgraceful, basically, to hide behind the acts of uh, unprecedented violence, which was the case. Now, this man is one meter 65 tall, and he is regarded in a media. I have seen comments already which, in which people related to him as a small, such a small man and a, such a big swine. He will have to go back to the hawk. He will have to answer the questions. This time he's going to ask, have to answer the question to the witness. Uh, he will have to testify about his ordeals, about his crime, his genocide he is involved in against me. I would say thanks for watching this uh, video till next time, but I am shocked. I am simply shocked that uh Slovenia turned out uh, to be such a fascist, hateful nation, you know, such a small nation it is, uh, and it's so filled with uh, hatred, so filthy, basically, uh, nasty, basically, hateful, full of hatred. Uh, it is, I am not going to even try to protest against this individual, whatever he has to say about Italian past uh, concerning 
what you see here. I am not going to even try to say anything. I am not going to try to even. I'm not going to even try to say anything because they say, you know, they say the best defense is attack. And it appears to me that time-wise, when it comes to time, uh, he, he, this guy could not but choose better than two days ago to make it look like, uh, you know, like he's like natural. He does not, you know. I am so disgusted, not about this guy here. I am so disgusted that I have defended something that was more than willing to follow this individual uh, on a road of fascism, Nazism, prejudice uh, against own member of the community uh, and even against other members of the community based on their facial features uh, skin color, basically, lightness of the skin, uh, color of the eyes, uh, color of the hair, and stuff like that. I am, I am disgusted, and I am appalled, really, that Slovenia, that this is happening. Uh, not that Slovenia only is a member, European, uh, you know, United Nations member, but we are in the heart of the Europe. Uh, European Union member state, a NATO member state, and we have stuff like this still uh, lambasting around, basically, still doing its music, basically still dancing this deadly dance. Uh, desperately trying to uh, even, I would say, intimidate Italian minority, which testified this ordeals in my case. Italian minority, which said no to this stuff, warned me that there is Slovenians inside in there, however, uh, that are in there for nothing other than espionage and to cause to steer problems to them. However, that they condemn this kind of torture and they would refuse to participate in one, which is a rather commanding. That's why I feel it would be good for Slovenia to have as many as possible minorities. We have a nation, we are a nation with a people who do not have any kind of responsibilities toward their own people. This is the main reason. Thanks for watching this video. This is amazing, isn't it? Amazing. Amazing how they wanted to steer the shit immediately against Italian minority. This supposedly was, this was like, this, this supposedly would involve Italian minority here in this most western part of Slovenia. Immediately I get a, a reminder as I walk to the father, and it's all audio recorded as I stated, immediately there will be a TV, this big screen TV they have at the entrance to this unit at home for elderly people in Novo Mesto, immediately they would go uh, and they would they would follow up on it. There was something else that happened when I visited my father on the 17th. Uh, my father appears uh, had a problem with if you if you pay attention to his jaw, uh, he's moving his jaw. It appears like he's having a lot of psychiatric medications given to him that they are handling him with psychiatric medications. Um, they, um, I'm going to go here, not only is jerking with his jaws, but he was also moving his legs. Uh, he became completely, let's see this.
is what psychiatrist Peter Kopp, according to MK Ultra scenario, yes, uh, you know, sarcastic. It's sarcastic, you know. He put me here. Look, look what he put me here and what they interpreted. This is the red thing. I will leave it to you here if you will side with the Germany. And it's a like like a key, like a red key. I don't know what they use that stuff for. They're using it for something to basically it's a magnetic thing used to unlock something, something in that sense. But he did this shit deliberately left me. So let me demonstrate to you what it looks like. Yeah, on one side it says Segu Segu FL fix Germany. Yes. He translated this, you're gonna if you're gonna do something like this, uh, if you're gonna benefit the Germans and then you're gonna have this. When are you guys gonna calm down and stop being so hateful? Why do you guys hate so much? Why do you guys hate so much? Why so much hatred in your hearts? Huh? Why do you hate so much? Why do you hate so much? Why so much hatred? <laughs> Why so much hatred? Why so much hatred? Remember when I told you about... Uh, the scores um, It is about the school scores and stuff. You remember when I told you about that kind of stuff? I don't think that many of these police officers, psychiatrists, even as they have them, uh, I don't think that you guys should be doing this kind of job. I, I don't think that you're qualified, frankly. I would tell you that you don't, you don't, you don't belong into the group of people that are fit to, to do that. I think that you are actually in that category. That, you are making fun out of me, that you are making fun out of other people as well that you intimidated with. Let me see if I can get here. The father is not doing well, according to my opinion. I don't like the way they treat the father. I think he's loaded with the psychiatric pills. People like this are absolutely capable of anything. Let me see if I can catch that other stuff. That's more important to me. We are watching the laptop. I delivered him some videos uh, about fishing. I'm trying to entertain him a little bit with it, but foremost, I have to finish this complaint and get him out of there before it's going to be really too late to complete. Already is. Yes. Let's see if. Maybe this is the same way, or this was done the same way, at the same day. It was. This is also visited the father, and you can see how he is jerking also with the legs back and forth. Oh, those are the psychiatric pills. Those are the psychiatric pills, that kind of stuff. Look at what he's doing with the jaw, and he's doing that kind of stuff. And He's having a difficulty concentrate, watch. Uh, I'm not comfortable really with this kind of service. Psychiatrist Peter Kopp was so humorous, uh, very, very important to notice, maybe, that he bastard even insisted during MK Ultra how he will fuck me uh, with uh, videos I will play to my father as to how I would play him a horror uh, and intimidate him. He also wanted to pull that kind of stuff on me. Well, but then he realized, bastard, that eventually I will have audio recorders on. It will be difficult to prove that kind of stuff. 
look, look what the father is just jerking with his feet and going on and on. Yeah. Psychiatrist Peter Kopf stated during MK Ultra that's going to be due to blood clots. That psychiatric pills are going to be causing. That's what he claimed. Mental illness, it's a very, very uh, open. Uh, <laughs> it's a very, very open uh, subject. It's a very interesting subject for discussion. No, just not to stress. I was really pleased my father wanted to go for a walk. <laughs> uh, he would not allow me to have his nails cut. Uh, but I found that they placed under the bed where his legs are. I hope it's going to be on this recording here. Exactly what you see here. Let's see if I. What the fuck is this? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, very nice. There you go. I'm not seeing anything like this yet. They placed this stuff under his legs, which rather makes him uncomfortable in the bed. But what psychiatrist Kopsch claimed uh, will help father due to, he, due to blood clots he will develop because of the psychiatric medications. What the fuck? What kind of game is this? I mean, this is a video about mental health, mental fitness. In which is becoming more and more and more evident that, you know, the, the, the people, that the people involved in this stuff uh, are not quite mentally fit to run this case. Folks, uh, I am going to say uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Now I am going to leave you with this news I'm going to publish right underneath. Indeed, it started in 1996 with a guy who met me at Brusnica. He had a blue Volkswagen Golf. Uh, this criminal was involved since, uh, and he was one of the worst of the worst people. He would commute me from the city of the Novomesto, which is 180 kilometers, straight to Lucia uh, to destroy me, to get me to to get me destroyed, basically. And we'll never forget, as I stated, if I pull the whole thing out, the attitude of Slovenian teachers in Lucia, which insisted, suggested on if I would touch, only touch, on how they already had others attacking children so that means they also torture other people from slovenia slovenian natives police does it appears that i was not the only subject of this exact type of treatment for which a local teachers are used uh, they would kill me i would be killed on the on the, on the spot it's what the female teachers, would you believe this shit? They were having cameras on the bus and like on a real TV watching a development between me and mentally uh, ill children. I love mentally ill children. It's a big fucking mistake you made. I mean, I don't have any kind of problem working with the mentally ill children. If you go through the set of applications I have sent when in Poland and in Slovenia, I actually applied to work with disabled, including mentally disabled children. I did this shit after so many years of torture. Thanks for watching this video. We're going to take a date and time. I am going to post this news here about him talking about fascist Italy and stuff like this with idea to hide him you know a real Slovenian character which really is a fascism under this news and yeah it's it's quite a bad news for somebody like Milan Putin
The news I have also for you, if you love Tanya Fayon, in case you like Tanya Fayon, you want, according to MK Ultra scenario, see her much any longer. Tanya Fayon is apprentice from Milan Kuchan. Uh, she is about to depart very soon. Um, she was involved, uh, actually, excuse me, she involved she was involved since my early childhood in MK Ultra. She traveled to the Belgrade. She was one of the people who met Josip Broz Tito. She triggered the news about the blood cancer for which she claimed me. Uh, can't wait will watch me fighting the last battle with one. That's really fucked up. Uh, she claimed me twice. I had her in Ljubljana. She took me with me to some kind of a lab. She would go uh, already like 20 years ago. And that I would get the words like this from the female that I actually even liked during MK Ultra. This is totally, totally, completely fucked up, disappointing. When I think about the situation, these people got me and uh, labeled me as a mentally ill and suggested me don't even dare to come anywhere to physician to check yourself for your problems, health problems, because it will trigger psychiatric hospital in the Polia. This is totally fucked up. This, this is this when it comes to the mental health. These people are totally, totally on the dog. There is, they suffer from severe deficiency, mental health deficiency. These people are not mentally fit. It this a mental illness, these people suffer from, and it's that worst kind of mental illness that we witnessed 80 years ago at its best, basically. However, it does not it does not participate only to Germany and to Italy. It is a universal issue. Eastern Europe is heavily, heavily suffering from within. You have a big problems right here in Slovenia, such a small nation, imagine. It's not a good stuff. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. She told me when you see the news like this, I won't be for too long around anymore. Oh shit, look at that. September the 16th, 2023. Damn it, I as well as mine because the three are dated to September the 16th, 2023. Oh man, this is a really badass video I did here. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna publish this one also underneath, so that you're gonna have all three on service.